Welcome to an IVS computer technology tutorial. My name is Julie and I'm the education consultant that's going to walk you through today's steps. Our topic is adding formative assessments to your lessons. So these are questions that you sprinkle throughout your lessons to check for understanding as you present content to your students. So to add those formative questions, the first thing you're going to do is either create a lesson in notebook software or open an existing one. Next, you're going to go through your presentation or your lesson and you're going to decide where you'd like to add a page to check for understanding. Once you've decided where to add the page, from that newly added page, you're going to click response in the menu and select insert question. Then you're going to choose the type of question that you're going to ask and select next. After that, you're going to type out your question add any tags that you'd like to use and select next. Last, you're going to set your answer and add any points or change the point value and also add any notes. Then you're going to select finish. After that, the question will be added to your presentation. This page will be completely white, so at this point you can add any extra content or decorate the page in any way that you see fit. And then finally, go through the rest of your lesson and repeat steps two, two through eight as you need. Let's go ahead and give this a try. I have a lesson already open in my taskbar. This is my formative example on nouns. So here is my title page. I also have my lesson objective. If I go to the next page, this is where my content starts. I have my definition. And then on the next page, I also have examples. From there, I go to a subtopic and I switch to singular nouns, not just nouns in general. So I would like to add a check for understanding page after this page. So to do so, as the instructions stated, I'm going to add a page where I'd like to add a question. And here's my nice blank page that I can work from to add my question. I'm going to select response in the menu and then insert question. I'm going to select the type of question. I'm just going to go ahead and leave yes and no. And then select next. Here I'm going to type my question. Okay. And then select next. Now it's time to set my answer. My answer happens to be yes, but I could always change it to no or to an opinion question, so I'm going to make sure that it says yes. And then here, this is where I can change the point value, and this is where I can type myself any notes that I would see if I printed out the assessment results. So now I'm going to select finish so that it inserts into my lesson, and here is my new page. If I go to my page sorter, you can see that I have my title page, my definition, my examples, and then right here, this is my active page, right here with the blue border. This is the page that I've added my formative assessment on. All right. At this point, I can do whatever I'd like to do with my question. I can move it around the page. I can also move my answers. This text is the same as any other text that you would add onto your, into your workspace. I can double click and edit if I need to. I can change the color. I'm going to highlight cat and underline it to emphasize it. And what I'd like to do, since this page is completely white, is I'd like to add the same background that I have on my other pages. As you can see, it's blue with some clouds. I'm going to find that same background in my gallery so this page matches all of the others. I'm going to go to Gallery Essentials, Backgrounds and Themes, and it's just a few pages down. Here it is. I'm going to click and drag to add my background. And here it is. So at this point, I'd probably change the color, maybe even make my question and answers a little bit bigger. But I can make any changes and add any objects onto this page once I've created my question. That is it. I would do the same steps throughout the rest of my presentation. Just keep in mind that you need to start adding that question on a blank page. So as soon as you decide where you want to add those questions, add a blank page first and then start inserting questions from there. 
Thank you for joining us.